You have to remember, Michael was a gigantic star, so offering him the Super Bowl was not up. This will be a platform for you to reach more people than anything else that you could do. Two days ahead of time, Michael called me at my house at three o'clock in the morning and said, I want to determine when the show starts. I have a, a, a concept for the beginning. And the cue was, and that's when you prepare to roll the trap. When he gets on the stage, he's like a general. Michael, he always said, like, make him wait for it. You know, you got to marinate in it. When you're directing this, I mean, every second is like an eternity. And I start to just shout, Michael. Take five. Come on, Michael. Do it. Stand here by V.T. Baker. Stand by. Here we go. He can't hear me. I'm just losing it. Come on, Michael. Do it, baby. Set. All the camera guys can hear me. Come on, Michael. But that was the deal that I had made with him. Roll, V.T. Baker. Ready, shot 12 Ready, shot two. two. Coming to two. Ready, shot 12 on two. Tighter, two. A little bit tighter. Woof. Ready, two. Shot 13 on five next. Three. Ready for. Michael had done so many things that had broken barriers, broken expectations, rewritten the rules, and his Super Bowl performance was really extraordinary. That was the thing that... One of the great artists of the century. He brought together incredible charisma. There didn't seem to be any limit to what he could do. stadium because all he created this spectacular show the halftime performance actually beat out the rating or it was an extraordinary success you know one definition of greatness is you're presented with these opportunities with around it and you surpass that you exceed that and that was michael jackson there's a place I think it was really mesmerizing. The minute that halftime show was over, the NFL really understood. 